When I was a teacher, this must be, what, 28, 29 years ago, the only aid to teaching that I had was a thing called a Loch Gelly Bell. <laughs> Do you remember them? Eh? For those who don't know, <clears throat> a Loch Gelly Bell was a strap made of leather, about an inch, a wee bit wider than an inch, uh, uh, about 18 inches long, with two tongs on it. It fitted very nicely and comfortably under your shoulder pad, you know, when you're walking up and down. And being a teacher of art, I used to go up and down, and if I saw a boy filling in the wrong bloody colour, ha <laughs> get that, it's red, it's all blue! <laughs> Nowadays, of course, if you tried that, they'd draw a flick knife on you or something, I'd hit you. <laughs> However, I did hear, uh, those of you who don't know, a Loch Gelly belt was so called because it was manufactured and made a wee town in Fife famous, the town of Loch Gelly. Stands to reason. I recently heard of a town in France that does a very similar thing. They don't make belts, but they make truncheons. Policemen's truncheons. You know these riot police in Paris, and they've got a great big long crunch, a big black, oh, wicked looking things. Now these are made in a town in France called FN. Or I may have the wrong pronunciation of FN. Well, you know, I'm not a French scholar. I, I never had these earbuff things here. You know, However, they have a secondary industry. They've got a huge factory in FN which makes workmen's boots. And who has not heard of the famous FN honey? World, world famous honey. <laughs> now, where you have honey, you have bees. And it follows that where you have bees, you have beekeepers. And I've got a nice wee song about a beekeeper here. <clears throat> He kept bees in the old town of FN. An FN beekeeper was he. <laughs> now, one day this FN beekeeper, he got stung by a big FN bee. <laughs> now, this big FN beekeeper's wee. Effin' wife for the big effin' polis she ran. Cause there's no one can sort out a big effin' bee like a big effin' polisman can. <laughs> now this big effin' polisman fared at his nut as he ran down the main effin' street. In his hand was a big effin' truncheon, he had big effin' boots on his feet. <laughs> Now you know why I told you about the factory that makes the boots, eh? <laughs> now the polis grabbed hold of this big F and B, and he twisted the F and B's wings. But the big F and B got his own back, because this big F and B had two stings. <laughs> now they're both in the F and museum. And the effin' folk all come to see The remains of the big effin' polis Stung to death by the big effin' bee